Tesla just revealed a new software update, but what I think was much more interesting than the software update that they revealed was what they actually said. Now, Tesla said it wants to upgrade your old vehicle's headlights, so pre-Highland headlights to matrix or you know laser headlights, which are adaptive headlights, they're called in the United States. However, the only reason it hasn't done so is because of this. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The only reason apparently is regulations. Tesla say where regulations allow for these headlights, they have now initiated software, a software update to enable older Tesla vehicles to have adaptive headlights. And the adaptive headlights are a huge improvement over the previous version. I can tell you that massive, massive change. You can see why people are asking Tesla, you know, what's going on with that? Can you actually enable that feature? Now, it's not a feature that people paid for, by the way. People weren't told they would get adaptive headlights in older model Teslas. It's just something that Tesla are trying to, they've been trying to work on getting these headlights legalized in different countries around the world over the past few years. It's been a bit of a challenge for them. Tesla has started rolling out its latest software update featuring a new one-time charge limit feature, as well as support for adaptive high beams in some places. Software update 2024.8 has rolled out to Tesla vehicles featuring a new one-time charge feature, as well as European support for adaptive high beams on redesigned Model S and Model X vehicles, and plus also some Model Y and Model 3 units, which already had that feature in them. Now you can kind of see on your headlights if they have adaptive headlights already there, which are not actually enabled. And a lot of Tesla vehicles do have that, but some don't. The updated high beams are currently, or the updated um, adaptive high beams are being rolled out in Europe, where Tesla has been able to get permission for their vehicles to have them. Tesla is also working on deploying the feature in the US. So if you're in the US, don't worry, it will come to you, well, as long as your state legalizes it basically or says that Tesla is allowed to turn them on. It's pretty pretty easy here. You can just turn the switch on essentially. Tesla's head of vehicle engineering, Lars Moravi, pointed to the feature rolling out on Monday, saying that more regions and features will follow. So more regions and features will follow. That's, that's kind of exciting. So anyway, Ben Mitchell has tweeted, hey Lars, thinking of buying a used 2021 Model 3 next month. I was wondering if there's any plans or pro on progress on bringing the Matrix software to the 2021 cars, 2021 plus, so 21, 22, and 23 models that have the hardware available for Matrix LEDs. It looks really good in the Highland. I wish it came to previous vehicles. Now, how many car manufacturers will respond to a tweet like that? I mean, I've never heard of any other automaker in the world that would respond to that on Twitter. Personally, I'm really surprised that Tesla did. Anyway, Lars Moravi responded. He said, we just started rolling out this out to older hardware capable 3YSX cars in Europe. Great work by the teams to get this going and approved. More regions and features to follow as we get necessary certifications. So they're planning on trying to get this to US vehicles as soon as possible. So Tesla doesn't make any money from this. It's not like they're selling you some sort of subscription or anything else. It's pretty cool. I mean, Tesla get a lot of hate, right, for a company that does this sort of stuff for free. I think it's been on, been on unwarranted. Anyway, with adaptive high beams, headlights will detect other road users, such as drivers and cyclists, and automatically adjust the high beams to reduce glare for them. It can point them in different angles, essentially. The release notes point out that by selectively dimming individual pixels of the headlights, the high beams stay on much more often for greater nighttime visibility while adjusting for those outside the vehicle. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, I've got headlights to do that. They turn off and on um, when people are coming and you know they see other cars and it's not quite like that. It's a bit different to that. Anyway, in addition, drivers can toggle the new headlight features from the vehicle's lights menu under the adaptive high beams setting. Tesorati says that drivers can also select the one-time charge limit option when preparing to take a road trip. When increasing the normal charge limit above the daily driving recommendation, Tesla vehicles will now present the option for a one-time charge limit. After the trip, the vehicle will automatically revert back to the previous daily charge limit. So what that means is Tesla recommends you charge to 80% if your battery is not lithium-ion phosphate. So now Model 3 and Model Y vehicles being sold in the US, new ones, 
come with lithium ion phosphate batteries for the standard range versions. The long range version doesn't, the performance doesn't. The, of course, you know, LFP batteries that Tesla use do have a little bit lower energy density, they're a bit heavier. But the advantage of LFP batteries, you can charge to 100%. Now Tesla will say, charge your battery pack if it's not LFP to 80%, but if you're going on a road trip, then you know, then charge to 100%. So they're saying, you know, you drive in home, you plug your Tesla in, it automatically will go to 80% because you set that as a limit. But if you want, you can change that so that now you update it so that it knows you're going on a road trip, it's going to charge automatically to 100%, not to 80%. And then when you get home, it'll recognize that you've gotten home and it'll go back to its 80% routine. It's just trying to make things a little bit easier for you, essentially. Adaptive headlights were included with the upgraded Model 3, so the Highland, that Tesla launched in Europe and other markets last year. They've obviously launched that refreshed vehicle in North America this year. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.